These pins I showed you, do you accept them as the word of God? This Schofield's Bible, do you accept them? Do you accept this as the word of God? Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are finding Jesse, so right about now we're gonna do another reaction video but before i get to the reaction i want to thank everybody who will be subscribing to our channel you're amazing super super amazing thank you so much so today we're gonna do a reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a couple of people and they suggested that i or we should go react to different bibles this is by ahmed didat so without any further ado man let's get it the very first question I asked was to identify the witness if you remember in any case any court case if you fail to do that the judge will stop you in your strike he said stop it identify your witnesses and that's the first question I asked here are the witnesses the exhibits the Roman Catholic Bible do you accept this as the word of God these pins I showed you do you accept them as the word of God this Schofield's Bible, do you accept them? Do you accept this as the word of God? But he says, no, I will answer in my time. His time, he had full time, 60 and more minutes, but you know. And the question is still not answered. I will, I will answer. Now, let me tell you the reason why he couldn't answer. He knew, he knows. Any learned man knows that this is not simply a question of translations. You see, when he spoke about the Quran, there are different translations of the Quran by different people. Different people have a different choice of words. For the same thing, use different terminology to express the same thing. This is every translator has a right but a version is quite a different thing from a translation I explained to you simple you see this Roman Catholic Bible has got 73 books inside true or false professor true 73 the book that you are using The authorized King James Version as the basis of that book that you have there has got 66 books. Difference of seven. This book, the Roman Catholic Bible, preceded yours, the Protestant Bible. It had seven extra books. You threw it out, the Protestant world threw it out. The book of Maccabees, the book of Judith, the, the book of Tobias. Seven books you threw out from what your canon as the word of God. In other words, you do not accept the Roman Catholic Bible per se as the word of God. Because there are seven more books in here than what you have in your Bible. This is what you ought to have explained to the people. These twins are not twins. You see, these twins here, they look alike, identical. Page for page is the same, but they are not the same. I mentioned this is the 1952 version and this is the 1971 version of the RSV, Revised Standard Version. Both say Revised Standard Version, but this was done in 1952 and this was done in 71. And these are not different translations, these are versions. Because in this book here, the first one, Revised Version, this goes back to the most ancient manuscripts. Your scholars tell us that. Your book that you're holding there, the King James Version, it goes to the ancient manuscripts. Ancient. Ancient means four, five, six hundred years after Jesus. This goes back to the most ancient, meaning still closer to Jesus. Closer to Jesus, naturally more authentic. If we can get something written in the time of Jesus or by Jesus himself, no question at all. So the closer to this, the person, history, more authentic, the book. 
So when you open this book here, you will find that the ascension of Jesus is thrown out as a fabrication. No. <laughs> Sir, in this book here, printed by your Christian printers, backed by 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they went and took out the verse, Luke chapter 24, verse 51, where it says, And Jesus ascended into heaven. And Mark chapter 16, verse 19, where it says, And Jesus ascended into heaven, is thrown out as a fabrication. The most stupendous performance of Jesus, as the most stupendous, is going up into heaven. The only two places in the Bible it was mentioned, and Jesus went up into heaven, ascended into heaven, and both thrown out as fabrications. By who? By Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations. But now, they had a problem. They sold this Bible, 1952 version, and they made a net profit of 15 million dollars on this. By that time the evangelists, you know, gospel thumpers, Bible thumpers, they realized that look man, our, the, the, the kingpin of our preaching, Jesus going up into heaven is not there. So they protested and they tell you here, they protested here and they put it back. So these twins are not twins. You see, this is now a version. You take it out, then you put it back. Why do you put it back? God didn't tell them to put it back. They tell you why they put it back. They tell you here why they put back something, they took it out. It speaks about your King James Version. These authors here, they say, yet the King James Version has grave defects. I'm not saying that. These are not my words. I'm only quoting your scholar, sir, that the one that you are carrying there has got grave defects. And that these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision. So they revised it. They took it out. What is not supposed to be there? Because in the most ancient manuscript, the words were not there. These were interpolations. And the Holy Trinity. First epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, For there are three that may record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. John, first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7, is also thrown out as a fabrication. Who throws it out? Muslim scholars? No. Jewish scholars? No. Christian scholars. What motives? No motives. Honestly, they are honest. But now, to appease the customers, you know, the customer is always right, they say, in business, so they put it back. So I said, you see, this is the game. Here, yeah, here, yeah, you can verify it, sir. You don't have to go out of this hall to verify. This is what you are doing to the people, to catch customers, to catch fish. He says, no, you don't do that. J.B. Phillips, J.B. Phillips, he is a prebendary of the Chichester Cathedral in England, a paid servant of the Anglican Church. He says that these Gospels, the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, speaking with Matthew, he tells us, early tradition ascribed this Gospel to the Apostle Matthew, the first book of the New Testament. But scholars nowadays almost all reject this view. J.B. Phillips, this is what he says, sir. And every Bible that you have, it says that the gospel according to St. Matthew, the gospel according to St. Mark, the gospel according to St. Luke, the gospel according to St. John. I am asking what is according to, according to, according to. You say Evangelite, and en licht, Matthews, en licht, Marcus, en licht, Lucas. I am asking what is en licht, <laughs> en light or en licht, according to, according to, according to. Mm -hmm. So, 
not only according to what we are seeing there, not only it is not the word of God, but Matthew is not the word of Matthew, Mark is not the word of Mark, and Luke is not the word of Luke, and John is not the word of John. This is the clear-cut evidence in black and white. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know what? What I like about Ahmed is that he's really well uh, articulate type of person, well uh, advanced when it comes to his knowledge, and he breaks it down in a very good way to an extent that you can't even come back from that. <laughs> I mean, even if you think of coming back, what are you gonna say? Because he just explained things in a very remarkable way. And man, you can see clearly here, man, that uh, the different types of Bibles. I'm not trying to be so um, looking down upon uh, the Bible or whatnot, but um, why would people even have different type of Bibles in the first place? If if the if the agenda is to make people uh, go to heaven, make people. Uh, get the knowledge from the Bible make people learn the teachings and all those kind of things you wouldn't uh, You wouldn't have thought of trying to remove those seven books from the The so-called the first Bible or something uh, um, the Catholic or whatever, but I believe that wasn't the first one. I believe there were other um, uh, What do you call this? Um, I mean the the, the 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 inception of the Bible itself. I I believe like there were some books in there that were were not uh, featured in the in the Roman Catholic and also looking down into the uh, Pentecostal ones, something like that. So I mean it's all a uh, it's all a uh, what? It's not a facade, but you can't even fathom that. I mean you can't even look at it in a way that. Um, my religion has different type of Bibles. You get it. There's this type of version. There's this type of version. I mean, in 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 between, you're gonna have confusion. You're gonna even start having disbelief of actually what is happening around. You get it? Because you're thinking of why wouldn't they just have just one particular book that it actually tell uh, you know has all the complete books and then just let it be you understand uh, it actually makes you question so much about what is happening around because you start saying that why did they remove those books what were there in those books that made them think like we cannot feature this book in the Bible or something you get it those are the questions that uh, not everyone is asking but the little people who understand that uh, probably they have been subjected to a lie they've been subjected to uh, deception and all those kind of things so you find those people going back in history and trying to dig deeper and trying to fetch those books and uh, trying to uh, look into them and find out why was this book not in the Bible or the, or the present Bible or something, you get it? And the, 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 there are a lot of speculations out there, a lot of uh, facts out there as to why those books were not in the Bible. You can just go do your research by yourself. And it's really incredibly uh, shocking when you read those facts. And I, I believe that um, there's always a point to you reach and you start looking at things like no this is not adding up you get it and this is the point we live in life where we we are in the age of Aquarius the age of information where you start realizing that everything you're taught was a lie <laughs> and you even begin to question everything that you see and to start with this um, what do you call this um, video over here I mean did that actually broke it down in a very very informative way and I like the way he was just having those books and trying to explain and trying to differentiate on one uh, one by one and whatnot which is really um, informative you get it so uh, I wouldn't want to say that um, I'm I'm contented with what is happening in the Christian world 
um, others are contented others are happy with the with the with the bible that they're having you get it but it's just because they haven't opened their mind to think of these other books that are not put in there a lot of people don't know that a lot of people don't know that knowledge is power you get it the moment you start having that knowledge you start having that uh, critical thinking type of mind and digging deeper into history you'll realize that we've been played like there's a lot of things that we are not doing today and we are being subjected into the modern world where everything is a fiction everything is metrics and all those kind of things but when you go back to the ancient world there are things that people used to do and they were so amazing they, would, they could tap into different type of forces and uh, be able to actually see um, I mean be able to actually figure out the, 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 the truth you get it the truth was out there it's even out here but people are not really uh, mindful enough to go and find the truth people are content people are comfortable with what they have at the moment they don't people don't like asking questions people don't like asking questions they fear you understand and uh, the fear is false evidence appearing real it's 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 a it's something it's like an illusion type of thing you get it so what Ahmed Data was just talking about over here, this is just amazing. And I know most of the people didn't re didn't know that. And by the time you watch this video, uh, by the time you finish watching this video, you'll have a clear mind or, or understanding as to why uh, there are different type of Bibles and whatnot. Which I feel bad. We should have this one Bible that has everything in there. Let us have something of our own that we say like this is ours, and it has everything that we need you get it be it bad good it's as long as it uh, it's, it's it's ours let's have the original one so that we can be able to uh, to, to 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 look at it in a in a positive manner you get it trust me there's a lot of speculation there's a lot of facts out there just go do your research you, you know what i'm talking about i don't want to delve into into details because we're going to spend like an hour here but I just want to let you know that there's so much that you don't know. There's so much out there that meets the eye. There's so much. Anyway, um, if you feel like I reacted to the video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction, what you feel about this video of Ahmed Dad talking about different types of Bibles. Incredible message, incredible information type of, of video. And I, I hope everybody has learned something and um, not to just learn and go out there and start ridiculing uh, Christians and start uh, you know uh, looking down upon Christians no you get that knowledge and try and help your fellow uh, human being be it a Christian or whatnot just help him out by helping I mean uh, trying to show him in a very amicable way like hey you know what I feel that probably there's something wrong here and that you just have a nice type of debate where you're not going to indulge into a fight or something i think with that everybody's going to open their mind their, their minds and open up uh their their heart and they will probably uh have a turning point from there but yeah and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better better content and last but not the least i'm going to see you rather we're going to see you in the next video and peace out